competence the ability to standardize your results maintain quality predictable quality predictable quality anything that comes from you has a predictable expectation i know if you're a lesson teacher i already know what a child will get because you are there if you are a chef i already know the food cannot be delicious today and nonsense tomorrow you are not competent competent is a product of mastery the mastery of the laws that govern that operation predictable competence listen to me when your results are not standardized kings will not come to you kings do not come to a fluctuated result stability for kings mean mastery so when you stabilize and standardize your results whether spiritually intellectually or otherwise you call the attention of kings the leaders in any industry are men who have standardized their results you cannot keep fluctuating forever as a man of god as a businessman as a career person there must be a level of standardized results everybody say competence be strict on yourself set a high standard on yourself don't celebrate mediocrity just because you do something small challenge yourself think global think global think global you can start small but let your mind be global are we together i was listening to one of dr miles munro's mentees and he was sharing a story that when dr miles was alive he looked at him one day and he called his name and he says young man you have a fabulous grace you are charismatic but you are not you are not vocal and articulate and if you want to go into the communications industry you have to be vocal and articulate the gentleman came from a background of all these yo-yo boys and so they just speak slangs all around and he said no if you want to talk to presidents and talk to great people you want them to call your attention then you must pay the price to learn and he says wow he was touched and he made up his mind that he was going to take an extra program to work on himself he went that far and that gentleman today is the one who heads miles monroe's church dr burroughs he made up his mind that he was going to develop himself learn to delay gratification and insist until you are competent don't wear tomorrow's cloth today you walk naked tomorrow don't eat tomorrow's food today you will die of hunger tomorrow don't be ashamed of rising gradually but insist insist i got to find out that a number of our precious ladies here are fashion designers and for one of them when i got to see what she does i was blown away i was i was so i was impressed beyond imagination i said you mean you do this she said yes i said no if this is what you do then the sky is your limit the world needs to know that you do this listen let me tell you when you are competent don't be afraid to let the world know that i am here you bring embarrassment to yourself and all those who are connected to you when you have not done your assignment and then you are calling the attention of the world the fig tree had no fruit but it was calling the attention of jesus when jesus came hungry he cursed it that's what will happen to any man that calls the attention of the world when you are not ready but when you are ready and you've done your homework please stand tall and tell the world that with all humility god has put something here come and see that's why we boldly open up and we tell people god is doing something great in zaria come and see when i travel by the grace of god to go for ministrations i go with confidence i know that the people will never be the same because the message is powerful and there is grace that backs the message there's nothing the devil will do about it forever 
that's why i continue to train and challenge you my brothers and my sisters when you become competent the kings of zaria will call you when you become competent you can be in zaria and the kings of abuja will call you the kings of everywhere will call you they have not called you because they are still studying you and they are noticing the fluctuations around your result standardize your results and watch the desperation of kings is god speaking to us be competent don't be small oh i'm a chef i'm a chef what do you do just because you can eat your food does not mean that's the food of kings challenge yourself are we together now one time a great man was celebrating his birthday and they just thought to make him a nice cloth and my tailor was called upon and told to sew for that man a very very big and wealthy man and then he was encouraged to do a good job and i'm sure he may be listening now and when he sewed the clothes for that man from that time that man started calling him now he asked him i heard recently again to make another set of clothes let me tell you competence is addictive when people meet competent people they don't easily let them go no there are not many competent people in the world you can only complain for a while you will come back be so competent that you become an endangered species i remember years ago a dear woman was getting married in zaria and she went to bring in a uh, what they call these people that makeup artist from kano and i asked a question i said does that mean there is not one of my dear people here that is an exceptional makeup artist who will like you to ruin her face on her wedding day the wedding day is not the day of trial and error if you are not competent provable competence kings and queens will not call you listen when you become competent you can name your price and the world will still say thank you is god blessing you competence you need to shake off poverty don't just sit down and say oh god um, now that the job is not coming or what i read no god is giving you a mind that can sit down listen koinonia i told you that i will never pastor a people who are born again and filled with the holy spirit but poor and broke and mediocre i will not be that man of god for as long as you are under this grace you must be balanced and that includes your finances i trust god for times when by the grace of god your children can come and at age 10 they are happy they are focusing on matters of destiny you are not waiting for them to become 18 years fast so that they will marry and come and pay you back This is the place of encounter. That's what God is doing in your life tonight. This is the place of surrender. Do to me what you want. This is the place where your life is changed do to me what you want listen some of us our parents may have failed but turn them into a success by being successful so that they can say my assignment was to give birth to you and since i gave birth to you i may have failed in every other thing but because you arrived successfully your success has turned me back to a success The mother of Jabez called him Jabez because of sorrow. I don't know what else she called him when he, become, he became an honorable man. There are names that are given to you when you are blessed. Your parents will find names and coin names that represent the excitement you have created in their spirits. Are we together? Being in Zaria is not a cause. 
being in the north is not a cause being a nigerian is not a cause and the secret is not running to canada the secret is not running to europe there are people under bridges in all of these nations it is the grace that follows you and the intelligence that god gives you are we together by the time we are building our international headquarters these are there are people here that will single-handedly by the spirit of god say apostle look we are writing this let this not be an issue not moral support no that people are here who will be so blessed and sign a million bibles and say please take them to the northeast noiseless impact are we together now there are many of our children in this ministry some of them you see them come and many of them is only god that supplies for their daily bread and is only god that takes care of them when will god bless you to a point that one day you look at one child and say young man you were about to fall but because i came ah i am alive that was changed thank you for giving to the lord i am so glad you came you know your impact by what people do around your birthdays that you have to remind people that it's your birthday is a sign that your destiny is closed people should be excited and know that my god this blessing to my life what an opportunity to celebrate him there are people today you still look at their grave and their grave is a salmon you can stand on their grave and live inspired he came he saw he conquered productivity the ability to trust god for an innovative spirit listen turn your ideas to products and services you are only worthy of reward when your ideas become products and services served with excellence until they become products and services you are only worthy of commendation not reward i cook once in a while i'm very good but that's just how i am hey that means that the financial squalor that is coming will meet up with you i don't know what the best restaurant in this city is i don't know but i thank god that there are people rising already here and there it is my goal and my prayer that the best of the best of the best of the best of every level of productivity will come out from this house it's not in a competitive manner listen one of the benefits of productivity is the privilege of influence the moment you are productive and you lead a field you are given grace to mentor to build to set the rules that guide the understanding of other people and this is one of the keys to kingdom advance you never become influential as a mediocre it is when you when you set the standard and you lead the field are we together you must challenge yourself i vowed a vow to myself while preparing for this meeting i said apostle you have not started oh you have not started the trickles of results that god has given praise god for it but mr man it's time to get to gear two and do something higher and greater it is time for a certain levels of graces i was praying and i said lord give me the anointing for three diseases one cancer two hiv we have seen it in pockets but i mean that a signature upon your life This is what money cannot buy lord grant that grace let it not be by mistake again i don't want people to come and testify and say i was healed of cancer apostle laid hands and i say i'm not even sure no 
I want a realm where we know that you came here and we can smile and say, Mr. Man, dust your vision, put your books back in order because you are walking away free. There is a grace. It's not out of jealousy or a need. No, 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 no. It is how you become a blessing. And then kings will come to you and say, our money means nothing in the face of this situation. And you tell them, there is a system in this kingdom that can help men. The little grace that God has given me, I am blessed and humbled as I see it change the lives of people. When people come with situations that I know are within the grace that God has given me, I'm excited. I, I feel happy for them because I know they are coming back with a testimony. If that does not happen to you, what kind of man of God do you want to become? When you become a conventional man of God, you will be a competitive man of God, a jealous man of God, an angry man of God, and eventually a backsliding man of God. But there is a height, an exceeding high mountain, where God keeps you. And from that mountain, you can tell people, look at what Jesus can do. They don't mention Jesus. Say, that's all I know. And they say, if we drive him, we're in trouble. So we have to leave you there. And you shout it at the rooftop. We we'll raise your banner high. We shine your light so bright. We sing in honor of you. Lord, we will raise your banner high. We shine your light so bright. We sing in honor of you. That's the anthem of our generation. Productivity, the ability to be useful, the ability to be needed, the ability to force a space for yourself for the sake of the kingdom in the table of destiny. You may not have been born with that privilege, but my brother and my sister, let me tell you this. There are men and women who did not have any advantage, but they made up their minds that they will challenge themselves. That out of Zaria, God will spring forth something that will shift this nation. Men and women who defy unemployment. Men and women who defy mediocrity. And your productivity will open the gates and the king of Tyre will watch you and you will pass and sit on that mountain and call for nations to come and they will come listen to me we're going to have a few minutes to pray and just where you are I'd like you to pray are we together now worship team just give us just play something for us and then you pray you are going to cry for your destiny tonight's prayer you are not interceding for anybody you are saying lord there has to be something uncommon in my life i'm tired of mediocrity i'm tired of having what everybody has it is the reason for jealousy it is the reason for envy lord put something upon my life something uncommon are you ready to pray expose my mind grant me the grace to be creative grant me the grace to be competent Shabakatola Bahasada Baradabala Rabu Anta Prakata Shadabela Katabrosazi Ente Ketrekatu Barahasada Balata 